Hi, my name is Crystal Donju, and this is my pitch for the Burberry Online Challenge. So a little bit about myself, I'm a former 18 year old media student who just finished my last year of sixth form. So I was very happy when my teacher sent round this brief as I would definitely consider myself to be a fashion enthusiast and a big believer in the conservation of our environment. That is why I was happily surprised at the context of this brief, which was to one, create an accessible runway which showed the future of fashion, two, challenge some of today's key issues, and three, show how that concept would then impact the fashion industry. So to start off with, I want to throw out three key numbers, and these are 85%, 500,000, and 79 million cubic meters. Now you're probably wondering what these numbers mean. Well, I'm going to tell you. The 85% represents the amount of textiles that end up in landfills. And these are the same textiles that release massive amounts of CO2 into our atmosphere. And why the fashion industry is responsible for 10% of the world's carbon emissions. The next number is 500,000. This represents all the tons of microplastic that are released into our oceans annually due to the plastic found in materials such as polyester. And then finally, we have 79 million cubic meters. This is how much water the fashion industry uses every year to produce our clothing, one of the main sources going to the growth of cotton. So as you can see, these numbers aren't really good, but we're trying to change that. It's not all doom and gloom, because on the bright side, almost 100% of the textiles that are used by the fashion industry are actually recyclable. And this was the thing that gave me the idea to create an upcycle show, hence the name Cycle 2020 at the beginning of the presentation. Now, the definition of upcycling is to reuse discarded objects or materials in such a way as to create a product of higher quality or value than the original. So here are some examples of people online who are already making businesses from upcycling or just doing it for the fun and creativity of it. One person in particular I would like to point out is the YouTuber and TikToker Nava Rose. She almost always DIYs her clothes and and shows people how to take something old and turn it into something new. And I've noticed that since people like her have come onto the social scene, there has been a rise in people buying second hand, thrifting and making their own customizable pieces. This links back to the point about adding value to the original product. If something has a personal touch, then you're less likely to throw it away, therefore reducing textile waste and hopefully reducing the use of fast fashion. I actually sent round a survey to some of my friends asking them if they would ever wear upcycle clothing and 93% of them actually responded yes, which gave me the confidence to then pursue my idea even further. To start off with, I want to take a look back at all the fashion trends from the past few decades, dating back to the 70s all the way till now. This is because I personally feel like this was the height of fashion. Everyone, no matter what their background or their class, used to dress with such pride. So I kind of wanted to bring that back into society and show people that they can look good in anything if they add their own personal flair and wear it with confidence. So these are just some of the outfit concepts I got my friend to draw out for me. I won't go into too much detail about all of them, but I just wanted to show you where I drew my inspiration from. There is a mixture between clothes that you would typically find at a thrift store that you can tailor to make your own, such as this two-piece pinstripe suit. As you can see, it was actually inspired by Blake Lively's look from the movie A Simple Favor. The reason why I did this is because a lot of the time when you go into thrift stores, you will find heaps, I mean loads, of oversized suits from places like America. America, Spain, all around Europe, and they are very, very cheap. So these suits you can then take, cut up, and recreate looks that look fresh off the runway. Even the YouTuber I mentioned before, Nava Rose, actually upcycled a look very similar to this on her channel, where she took a shirt from Boohoo and turned it into a co-op set. On the other hand, I also then have items that are 100% upcycled, such as my blue patchwork set, which would be made from old jumpers and jeans, and then the night dress, which is completely made out of tube socks. Now, if you look at all the other outfits, you will notice that they are all very different and don't really share any similarities. This was done completely on purpose and I'll tell you why. When doing my research into the different decades, I took the most hyped fashion trends of each era and tried to incorporate it into modern life. So, for example, I have my chic punk look of the 80s to my crop top and track pants of the 90s. Each look tells its own story from the past of which it came. Plus, I tried to use some branding which is very accessible to young people such as Nike and Adidas. 
So the thought process behind all of it wasn't the fact that I wanted to tell people what to wear, it was more able to inspire and show them what is actually possible when it comes to the upcycling of their own clothes. For example, the chic punk look I was talking about, this is literally a leather jacket that you could accessorize with pins that you bought from the dollar store or from the hardware store. You can just stick these on and boom, you have a new look upcycling is a great thing um so this kind of brings me onto my set and i'll try and break this down the best way possible and try and explain the vision that i have in my head so first and foremost i would want the show to be located in camden as i feel like this is one of the trendiest places in london and has a very very rich history when it comes to the fashion world so it's a perfect place to pay tribute to all the styles that have come before now starting with the runway as you can see it's in the shape of an x now the whole concept of the show is basically to be one big before and after reveal so in the beginning there'll be darkness there'll be darkness all around the room and then one of the old tvs located at the back of the stage will switch on and it will show all the waste that is dumped into landfills then on the other side another tv will turn on showing all the pollution that is going into our oceans then one by one each tv screen will turn on revealing news reports articles videos images about what the fashion industry is really costing us when it comes to the environment and by all of them going off at the same time i'm hoping it will create some kind of sense of chaos and shock to the audience as some of them generally don't even know what the fashion industry is doing or how bad it really is but after this the tv TVs then will start to glitch. Noises or static will start to accompany them. And they would then start to change the images shown on their monitors from something that was very dramatic and disturbing will then turn into something more lighthearted. I want the TVs to then start showing footage of old runways, candid videos of people through the decades, and then reports about how people are starting to change their ways. For example, the designers who are purely based off of zero waste. At this point, this is when the music starts to kick in and this is when the show starts to begin the neon sign at the back will start to light up and show the sign reboot reuse up cycle that is the slogan i want to go for as it is a take on the popular slogan reduce reuse recycle once this has happened i would initially want the models who are wearing the before outfits to come from the left of the stage and the models who have the upcycled outfits to come from the right so they will then walk down their respective runways cross in the middle and then come to a halt once they've reached the front of the stage which is located here this is when the audience will clearly be able to see how the eye items have changed as the models will be standing side by side so you get that clear before and after for example this crop top which used to be a bag will then be shown off to the world and really let people know that you can make clothes out of items that you never thought were possible plus it makes for great photos from the paparazzi so the models will then come out in groups of six and that's basically three from before and three from after as well as being from their respective era so all the models whose looks were inspired by the 70s will come out all the looks from the 80s will come out 90s so forth so forth so forth so when it came to the actual casting of the models themselves i wanted to use social influencers who have a brand based around fashion some of them have shows such as the boys from paq or the girls from Nava, and others just have pages where they incorporate upcycling into their daily lives i wanted to use real people who i know have a real audience and will trust the message that we are trying to spread here but most importantly i wanted to use these people for their undeniable style each one of them brings something unique to the table and shows off their personality through the clothes they wear which is basically the message that i'm trying to show your individuality which makes them perfect for the show not only that but with all their platforms combined this creates a social following well over 1 million which is great for when it comes to advertising as our target audience is already there their followers already know what they're about what their brand is and will definitely show interest in the show the advert i was thinking of will be a short promo showing the influencers going from drab to fab in their new upcycle clothing again showing a short preview of that before and after which ho will hopefully intrigue the audience enticing them to want to see more amazing transformations like these ones and will hopefully encourage them to buy tickets to come and see the show 
So ideally, I would want the video to be posted on the model's social media pages, obviously, because they have their audience there and go up onto other social media platforms such as Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, all of the above. This way we can get as much reach as possible. So when it comes to who will actually be invited to the show, I wanted a real mixture from fashion bloggers who can post out to their thousands of followers, the general public, and then people who are already established within the industry, such as creative directors, stylists, designers, and everyone in between. This way, everyone from all walks of life have the exact same chance to see the show rather, in, rather than it being this big exclusive thing like how most shows are. I want everyone to hear the same message about how we need to change the way we create our clothes and it's really starting to become an issue and not a lot of people are talking about it. And of course, everyone who is invited or does buy a ticket, e.g. the general public, will be sent this out electronically so that we can reduce our paper waste. And going back to the survey I sent out before, one of the questions that I asked was who would you like to see come up with an upcycle collection? And the answers ranged from high-end brands such as Gucci and Louis Vuitton to more high street brands such as Nike, Urban Outfitters and Adidas. The reason why I did this is because I was thinking that if people saw these big name brands, these real giants within the fashion industry coming out with sustainable collections and upcycle collections, then others will start to follow in their lead. After all, isn't that what's already happening? <laughs> like the fashion industry have such a huge, huge worldwide platform. And I really think we should use it to spread a positive message. Plus on the plus side, it really creates so many more opportunities for designers to start experimenting with different textiles, objects and materials that they never thought they would use in the past. And who knows what these professionals could come up with, but whatever it is, I'm sure it would be great. I just want to kind of open that door for them and after showcasing this idea to my friends and my family I sent around the survey once again so out of 31 27 people replied that they would want to come to an upcycled fashion show and said that they would be willing to spend more money if they knew the clothes were sustainable and that the profits were going to be used for a good cause such as eco charities and that pretty much sums up my idea so just to recap my show is named cycle 2020 all of the clothes that you will see on the runway have either been upcycled or thrifted and it's there to address the fact that the fashion industry need to change the way they're doing things and that we can all live fabulously sustainably thank you my name has been crystal donju and that was my pitch